Hi folks, this is Mike from Ham Radio Science. Today we're taking a look at another network radio, except this unit, unlike the portable we've been using, is a base mobile unit. We're probably going to use it as a base, so we ordered one from Amazon, and the model that they sent us was, is, a Pulsat PM1100. Now, this radio, I understand, looks a lot like and probably is identical to the Enrico TM7, which has been a very popular uh, network radio for people who want base mobile units. So let's take a look. We're going to unbox it and then set it up and uh, see how it works. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have... Uh, this is a letter from the uh, vendor that uh, shipped us the radio saying that um, since this was advertised as a TM7 that um, they uh, discounted the price and um, also we have in here a um, free SIM card with a discount to Ting if we want to uh, connect it to the um, cellular network. Okay, well that was nice of them. I believe this will be the actual radio. This is sort of a kind of a chunky thing here. And uh, this is the back. We'll do some close-ups of this a little later here so but this is the basic radio and I imagine this is the accessory box and let's see well we get a mic mount here a handheld microphone Um, some hardware to ma uh, mount the base. I believe this in here too. A power cord. Good heavy duty one too. The external GPS antenna. And the mounting base itself. So we're going to put this together and come back and just uh, suck it and um, see how it works. Okay here's a summary of what came in the box. You have your external GPS antenna that attaches to the back of the radio. You have a bag of mounting hardware that you can use to uh, mount the mic front microphone bracket. A uh, 12 volt power cable that is fused, of course the Pulsat PM1100, and uh, you have a mounting bracket that you could actually mount this in a vehicle or possibly use it as a stand, and then of course the uh, hand mic, which um, you can plug right into the front of the Pulsat. The build quality of the Pulsat is actually pretty good. It's not quite up to the quality you would find in most amateur radio equipment but it will do the job for a mobile or base style unit. We also have a power switch that if you press it and hold it in, turns the radio on and off. There is an LED up there that um, really doesn't do too much. It just uh, will light up if you have it plugged into a USB port. We have our microphone jack. We have some programmable buttons. These buttons can also be remapped with the button mapper application that you can download from the Play Store. The radio features a 2.5 inch screen which is bright. Uh, it's a little small for the radio and can be a little difficult to read uh, depending on how far away you are from it. There is a front firing speaker which is pretty loud and very good audio. 
You also have the obligatory SOS button, some volume buttons, and a back button. Around on the side, we have the mounting hole for the mounting bracket, as well as a headphone jack and a mini USB port. This does not charge the radio. There's no batteries in this radio, and there's no front-facing camera in this radio. But this is what you can use if you need to connect uh, the radio to the computer to uh, get some data on or off the unit. On the bottom of the Pulsat, there is a removable panel that you can open up. There's two very tiny screws there, but you can open this panel up and inside you can place two SIM cards and up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. By adding a SIM card to this radio, you can then use it mobile without the need to be connected to Wi-Fi. On the back side of the Pulsat, we have the external antenna connector for the GPS antenna that comes with the unit as well as a external antenna connector. Continuing along the back side of the radio, we see a set of vent holes, as well as the DC 12 volt, 24 volt power adapter connection. The external GPS antenna comes with some 3M tape on the back so that you could mount this outside of your vehicle or possibly somewhere inside or outside on a window or something like that if you really thought you uh, wanted to use it. The cable also comes with a SMA connector to connect to the uh, radio itself. The included hand mic seems to be of very good quality and very sturdy and seems to sound pretty good on transmit. The included mobile mounting bracket is just okay. It will work fine for mounting the radio under a dash or, or wherever you want to put it. But if you want to use it as a stand for the radio, it's just not going to work out too well because it's too light and the radio will just tip right over. The Pulsat PM1100 comes with Android 6.0 and it only includes a few basic applications. Now the processor in these units are a little slow so it takes a while to actually load something. The small 2.5 inch screen sometimes can be difficult to work with because it's not always very responsive. Just go on my mobile to go on the internet and do bits and bobs, you know, uh, because it's such a nice screen. So uh, there we go. But uh... Because of the small screen on the Pulse Hat, it can be a little bit tedious to try to set the radio up just by using your uh, finger to manipulate the screen. So one good uh, workaround is to download either Visor or AirDroid that allows you to remotely interface with the screen on the PM1100 by using your computer. And this makes things a, a lot smoother. Visor or AirDroid will allow you to see your uh, Android screen on your computer and use your mouse to uh, go through and, and make these settings and you'll probably find that uh, this is a lot easier than trying to do this uh, on the screen of the radio itself. Receive audio and transmit audio from the Pulsat was very good. The Pulsat is loud enough that you should be able to hear it just fine in any kind of noisy environment, specifically in a mobile environment. It seems to be working on air. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll let Len tell you the story, but there is a story attached to it. Um, so, you never know. You never know. He might pop up on here soon. Um, he said he was going to ring me later. He's, he's feeling a bit better today, but not 100%. Overall, the Pulsat PM1100 is a good solid little network radio mobile unit and represents a good value because typically in the US these sell for a little under $200. Also keep in mind that this radio is probably the same radio as the Enrico TM7. The Enrico TM7s are a little easier to find than this radio but occasionally you'll run across the Pulsat brand on Amazon. The positives of the Pulsat is its great audio quality good build quality, and a compact size. The major negative of this radio is its small, fiddly screen. Now, if you're going to mount this in a mobile 
it's going to be probably kind of set and forget. If you're going to be using a network radio in a vehicle, then you probably would like to look at a unit with a much larger screen. Okay, that wraps up our review of the Pulsat PM1100 slash Enrico TM7. These are great radios for base station use or casual mobile use. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Ham Radio Science channel for new videos featuring different radio topics. Mm -hmm.